Michael, you gonna go help coach? Ma'am? You gonna go help coach? Yes, ma'am, I am. <laughs> he called me Friday. He called me Saturday and he called me yesterday. <laughs> what day did you answer? All three days. Because he goes, yes, sir. That's what I figured he said, yes, sir. I, I can't tell that man no. Sucker born every moment. Yeah, I guess. I can tell a lot of people no, but I can't tell him no. Some things, some things don't change. We were just talking about that. I said, I know one person you got to coach. You coach with you, and I said, wait till I go back and tell what. I was right. I've been over today. It's 21 kids show up. Did he? Yeah. Good. You need to today? Today. First day. 21 kids. Well, we lost our baseball coach and they had to get out. They only had about nine. 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 Last Thursday. Mm -hmm. Via email. Thank you, ma'am. But he'd already resigned with basketball. Did it? Isn't that a basketball leader? No, he'd already resigned with basketball. But he came here for basketball. Oh. She's been on the field forever. Yeah. Found out what it was like. Yeah, they had about nine or ten signed up last week, and they had 21 show up today. Did they pick somebody for the middle school coaches? For what? Did they pick somebody for the middle school basketball coaches? I don't think so. Matt's hoping to do I'll ask Shane tonight. I'll ask Shane tonight. He'll know. If he got ill, he'll be able to find out. What's Shane needs to know? Middle school basketball coaches. Oh. Because they hadn't picked one last week yet. I heard me. Don't yeah, he'd probably be the first to know. Matt Dodge won. Oh, he'll work it out. He'll, he'll There's work somebody. There's two people in the running for it. There's two people in the running for it. We don't know who the other one is. All right, it's 6 o'clock. We're going to get started. We've got a terrible night. I ask Kate to ask all of the folks that are presenting tonight to be brief, just simply because we've got people that have got to drive to get home. So I'll call the meeting to order, and uh, I'm going to ask uh, Commissioner. Grand Bear, she would do the Pledge of Allegiance, and uh, Steve is going to do our prayer for us. Everybody would stand, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. So Lord, we just thank you for another day and the closing of another day. And as we conduct the business, help and guide us with all our decisions that have to be made and help them to be good ones. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you. Both of you. All right. Uh, number three, roll call, please, ma'am. Yes. Ms. Granberry? Present. Mr. White? Present. Mr. Davis? Here. Ms. Blankenship? Here. And Mr. Smith? Here. All present. All right. Thank you. And approval or correction of minutes prior to the meeting from our January the 15th. Entertain a motion if there are no corrections. I'll entertain a motion if there are no corrections. Now that he's made a motion, let me just add there does need to be a correction on the very first page right above the completion review of unfinished business. We say that we're citing number two of the employee handbook, and it was letter Q, and we'll make yeah, that change. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I see what you're talking about. That's the only change that, that we're uh, aware of. Okay. Well, I'll make a motion that we accept the minutes with that change. Okay. Second. All right, we have a motion and a second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Light sign. Motion carries. 
All right. Uh, now I'm going to ask that we suspend the rules, um, just in, to enable uh, Loretta to be able to get her stuff done so she can get on the road. She's got quite a drive. So what we'll be doing is moving 6B up first, please, Loretta, and that is Ordinance 2019-1031, public hearing in our final read, an ordinance to amend the 2018-1021, said an ordinance appropriate the revenues and expenses for the city of Mount Pleasant. I'm not going to go through all that, but this is a change to our budget, as we have to see pretty regularly. Yeah. We usually do this about twice a year, uh, and the only change, the differences between the first reading and the second reading, are if you notice, there's a little bit of space there on the summary sheet, and it's the 28 through 34 are the new items. Bottom ones, the very bottom ones at the bottom there. Everything else is the same as it was in the first reading. Any questions or comments concerning that? There are none I'll entertain. Oh, uh, this is a public hearing. Uh, anybody present that would like to speak concerning this ordinance? Let the minute show, please, that no one spoke up. Now, we'll uh, entertain a motion, please. Make a motion to approve as presented. We have a motion. A second. I'll second it. Motion and a second. All those in favor, aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Next, we're going to do is move up number eight to follow six B, and that is the monthly financial budget report. Please, ma'am. Okay. I'm just going to make make it brief. Oh, uh, like you've got all your the numbers, and we sent to you yesterday. Uh, the only really update we have is the gas uh, sales tax is still in process. Uh, where the state's concerned on news is good news. We are, they did send us a list of items that they're questioning. So we have, res are in the <coughs> process of responding to those. We've already sent them um, more exemption certificates and uh, uh, some answers to some of their questions. Um, the other thing, the, uh, the bank accounts have just about been moved over. We've left some right now. We're in transition. Um, to make sure that we get everything cleared um, <coughs> before we, I don't want anything hanging out there. Um, do you have any questions? On? No, ma'am. All right, no. I need to make sure. Is everybody aware of what we've dealing, been dealing with in regards to the taxes concerning the gas company? Just what I've read that you've sent over mm -hmm. the weekend. Well, the, right. Basically, the sales tax is being audited mm -hmm. by the yes. state sales tax. Um, We've never been audited in before that we can find in the history of the gas company. Uh, thank the Lord, they're only going back three years. Uh, when we started working on this, I'm not going to tell y'all any stories. I lost sleep. It was a big old. The first report I got, I I could have thrown up. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to tell y'all any stories. It was ugly. And I, want to, I want to thank. It's not pretty, but it's not that ugly. <coughs> not anymore. <laughs> Loretta has done a fantastic job. Found two and a half million right off the bat that was going to have to be taxed. It's no longer going to have to be, so that's going to be a substantial savings to us. Yeah. Uh, but I, I do. I want to applaud Loretta and her group for the work that Kate, others that have been doing on this. It, it has been looks like a hundred probably going to cover it. Do we want to do that? No. The good news is, is that we find the gas company in pretty good shape financially, so uh, we'll be able to write a check and move on down the road. And let's hope, knock on wood, that we're tired of looking over our shoulders at some of this stuff. Yeah, and we'll bring that back to you for a formal vote. Yes, yeah. once we get because we don't number. have the everything I'm looking at now is preliminary. Right. There's no stepping stones. But you don't need to get blindsided by it. Either. Okay. No, I think we have to be aware. Please feel free to call me. or whatever. He never looks at. Something like that. I have that question. And once we narrow it down to a number, Mike, and we know what that number is, I plan on working with Corey, just seeing if there is any repercussions back to the audit firm. And if there is, it's only three years anyway, I think. Yeah. Uh, and then it's probably 250 per occurrence, if I had to bet. It's going to 
going to be most. It's going to be most of your smaller commercials. Yeah, but I'm talking about if, we, if we're able to go back and get anything from the audit group, it's usually three years in the max right. that they have on any occasion. If any I've ever dealt with in my career, it's been 250 mm -hmm. per occasion. Now, I don't know what this one calls for, but it's probably where it's going to land somewhere in there. But just so everybody understands, this is coming down the pike. Good enough. It is. It's not good news, but... No, but it's, hey, it's a and, lot and better than it was it, four it, weeks ago. <laughs> and a lot of it we will be able to um, to recoup. We will actually have to go back and, be, and recoup some of this from the customers, unfortunately. But we have also found that there's a great number of them that are no longer no here. Business. Yeah. But at least the state knows we're not trying to hide. Something. That's right. Exactly. That's the good news. You're yeah. exactly right, Mike. Any questions for Loretta? Right quick. All right. Next, we need to move up. I'll make, a, I'll make a motion to approve the monthly financial. Thank you very much. Second. I'll second. We have a second. <coughs> Mr. Blankenship, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Next, we're going to do is move up 11E which are the bid awards for our HVAC and our collection services. And Loretta, I'll let you take it over again. Okay. We'll just do the easy one first. The collections, we only had one bid. Um, we opened those this morning. And the good news is that currently we are paying 40% of what they collect. Uh, this collection agency, uh, this ACSI, uh, their bid is 22%. So. That is a huge, huge difference in, I in the amount of collection. I need to make this aware again as I did at our work session, but I am a board member of this company. Uh, and I'm <coughs> going to recuse myself from the vote, but just to make sure it's full disclosure. And even though the amount was 40% with the previous vendor, they're not collecting anything, so it wasn't, right. it wasn't doing yeah. any good anyway. Um, I can we've not been, <laughs> we've not been had, had a whole lot of of luck historically there. Um, and also we are adding one uh, step to our pro collections process. Um, we have contracted with, with the police department uh, with an outside firm um, where we'll share the cost with them to where we can get current addresses and so that we can send these people a final letter <coughs> before we turn it over to collections so maybe we can collect some of it before we get to that point. Uh, that will be a huge because that's the biggest part of our problem is the people move and we don't know where they're at. That's exactly right. All right, next we have HVAC. Uh, do, we we vote 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 again. do we need to do both? Yes. Once or separate? You can do it separately. Right. Okay. All right, do we have a motion to accept ACSI's bid for our collection services? I'll make a motion to accept ACSI. This will be for collection. I'll second that motion. We have a uh, not motion in a second. All those in favor, aye. 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 And I recuse myself so again, four nothing. please. Yeah. So it's 4-0, please. Yeah. All right. Next we have HVAC. <coughs> okay. That one's a little more tricky. I took the bid and I had sent them to you. And just because I didn't feel comfortable, I had some questions on whether each one of them were bidding on doing the maintenance once a year or twice a year and so I called each one of them and asked them to make sure that they were on uh, how they were bidding on that. Uh, the McNeese Service Company said his bid was twice a year. Uh, the Patterson Heating Cooling said theirs was once a year. Uh, I did, I'm sorry, I did not call Hiller because theirs was already way more either whether it was one or twice in the running, yeah. No, it wasn't even. So, I called the two lowest bidders and asked them if they were once or twice per year and so that we could compare apples to apples. Um, I, when I called uh, Mr. Patterson, he said, well, the, the second one wouldn't be as much as the first one and he could do the additional one for 850 uh, which would bring his bid up to that first uh, page. Um, so I calculated it that way. And then I also, on the second page that you were sent today, and I think you've got it in front of you, um, I calculated it where I just left his as it was originally and half Mr. McNeese's so that it would be 
So again, we were comparing mm -hmm. apples to apples, and it pretty much came out the same way as comparing both ways um, with calculations both ways. Like the now, like Bradley's is mm -hmm. cheaper. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. And that's yeah. good you've done that. Sure well, <coughs> none of these have been bid out before. Yeah, we haven't given out now. And I and I told everybody up front, I know nothing about HVAC. <laughs> and so, uh, uh, we wanted to make sure that we are comparing apples to apples. And, and this is strictly maintenance. So if there is a system breaks down and we've got to spend a bunch of money, we bid out anyway. Yeah, if it's over twenty five hundred dollars, we're going to be calling them and asking them for. And then if it's over ten thousand, we'll be taking formal bids. So. Um, this is just strictly the twice a year maintenance and maybe the if we gotta change out a thermostat or you know, something minor of that nature. All right. Anybody back here to make a motion for whomever they'd like. I'll make a motion for magnetic services with H B C. We have a motion, do we have a second? I'll second that. We have a second. <clears throat> All those in favor aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you very much, Laura. Please be safe. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Maybe you'll get home before another whole the next, round. The next round Thank comes. You. All right, Thank next we'll move right to number five, and that is uh, A is Proclamation for International Clergy Appreciation Week, and that was actually February the 3rd through February the 9th, and I had signed a proclamation on that back uh, sometime in the first part of the month. The next we have is Mr. and Mrs. Ms. 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 Uh, we are going to move this to March. 19th. Uh, just because they've got They have a game tonight. Games. Because they won. Right. So. So it'll be. We'll have them back March 19th. That'll be nice. Can you make a motion to move it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we'll have a motion. I'll entertain a motion to move those to proclamations to March. I'll make a motion we move those proclamations to March. I'll second. We have a motion and a second. All those in favor, aye. Uh -huh. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. All right, next we have Mayor's appointment to the Mount Pleasant Beer Board, which will be Jimmy Hines. And uh, for any of those that knows Jimmy, he's been here his entire life and has uh, attended quite a few of the meetings, and I think he'll be a nice addition. Uh, Dan Morancy has asked to resign. Um, he's just not quite able to attend all of them that he needs to. So Jimmy Hines will be uh, fulfilling, fulfilling the unexpired Rinsen. term yes. of Dan Branch. Yes. So, I would entertain, entertain a motion to replace Jim, Dan Branch with Jimmy Hines to serve an unexpired term on the beer board. Is that good? Yeah. I'll make that motion that Mr. Branch's term be by Jimmy Hines. Okay. We have a motion. Do we have a second? I'll second that motion. Do we have a second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. All right. Next we have number 6A, Ordinance 2019-1030. It is a public hearing and a final reading. An ordinance to amend Title 16 of Mount Pleasant Municipal, Municipal Code by adding provisions relating to street names. And Mayor and Commissioners, since the first reading of this ordinance, there's been one minor change made, and I'm going to let Corey tell you where she made that change. At the study session, we talked about whether um, the planning department or the city manager's office should be the one that receives the, the nominations and handles the map of the street names. and you all indicated that you would rather it be the planning department. So I think the draft that was passed on first reading and the one that was in your packet still said the city manager's office. So this is the new version here and it just changes, um, it says that the planning department would hold the map and would accept the nomination. Um, that's, uh, that's different. Yeah. Just for everybody's information, that's a very top paragraph on page two. Yeah, and another time under section 16116. The only time it still references the city manager is that she has the right to waive application fees. Correct. Okay. Any questions concerning that? Because it is a public hearing, and do we have anybody in the audience that would like to speak to this? Let the minute show there were none, please. 
entertain a motion with the proposed changes as spelt out by our attorney, Corey? I'll make a motion when we accept the proposed changes. Okay. I'll second it. We have a motion and a second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, number seven, monthly report from mayor. There will be none this month. Uh, now we go to monthly report from the city manager. Uh, and Commissioner, I put everything together from the department head reports and I created the state of the city that is available the first of the next month, which will be March 1st. And last month we stopped sending you that report with your agenda packet so that your agenda wasn't uh, even bigger than it already is. And hopefully that's working for you guys if it's not. Let me know, but um, their reports will be in the state of the city that comes out March 1st. Yeah. <clears throat> Great. All right. Do we need a motion on that? No. Okay, I didn't think so. All right, number 10, special reports from other city departments or committees, if applicable. No reports for either wastewater or gas. Okay. Number 11, new business, resolution 2019-5, a resolution of the city of Mount Pleasant, Tennessee for engineering services for the TDOT Transportation Alternatives Project. Uh, Mayor and Commissioners, this is what we commonly refer to as downtown revitalization. There are two um, parts of this that we put a notice in the newspaper for, and that is engineering services and administrative services. Uh, we received one bid for each of those, and uh, this one that you're voting on right now, CT Consultants, is who we're recommending, and that's what the resolution is it's in your packet, that they will do the engineering services for this TDOT TAP grant. Do we have any questions? Entertain a motion. <coughs> Excuse me, accept the resolution for the um, bid. That's what we're accepting. The engineering engineering service. Engineering service. It's actually service. an agreement. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> it's an agreement for professional service. Yeah. Yeah. As presented in, that re in the resolution 2019-5. All right. We have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. Second. All those in favor, aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Next, we have Resolution 2019-6, Resolution of the City of Mount Pleasant, Tennessee, for administrative services related to TDOT Transportation Alternatives Project. Thank you, Mayor. Commissioners, as I stated, this is the second part of this downtown revitalization, and this is unusual, but this process started well before I came on board. It's been going on for seven years. Normally, South Central Tennessee Development District administers all of our grants because community partners had already been involved in this process, and they're good people. It just costs more than South Central does. So we're just continuing where we left off, and this resolution hires them to do the admin services for the grant. Okay. Any questions of Kate? Being none, entertain a motion. I'm going to make a motion that uh, we accept the resolution as presented 2019-6 for the TDOT Transportation Project. All right. We have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. Um, got a number of seconds. I'll let you pick one out, whoever wants to. Uh, all those in favor, voted sign of aye. 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 Approved. Uh, opposed. <laughs> trying to get too fast, folks. I'm sorry. Opposed. None. Motion carries. All right, C, 2019-7, a resolution of the City of Mount Pleasant, Tennessee, approving the interlocal agreement for the automatic response of fire and rescue services between the City of Mount Pleasant Fire Department and the City of Columbia Fire and Rescue Department. And we're going to ask Philip if you would to speak briefly on that, yes. please, sir. Uh, if you would read in the paper, this did pass in Columbia. I did not. Yeah. <coughs> so... No, I don't have a PowerPoint. It did. Briefly. Briefly. Time's up. Yeah, brief. <laughs> yeah, brief. <laughs> so what you have before you is an interlocal agreement with the City of Columbia. So basically, uh, without being too long-winded, um, when someone in Station 4, the station across the food line, calls and says their house is on fire, the City of Mount Pleasant and the City of Columbia automatically get uh, toned out or alarm to go to that house. Vice versa, the city of Mount Pleasant, any resident or any business in the city of Mount Pleasant, when it, they call and they said, my house or my business is on fire, they're going to tone that station and us to that fire and we'll arrive accordingly. So. 
Long overdue. Good enough. Yeah, yeah, fire I didn't know I was speaking. I would have brought my PowerPoint. <laughs> <laughs> we've, we've seen. <laughs> 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 yeah, we've seen. Thank you. I appreciate that. I really want to thank Philip and his department for all the work they've done on this. This is a long time. Yeah. Well, there's work to be done. Once y'all, you guys agree to it or not, that's when the work really starts with the planning. So. All right. Thank you, Philip. Thank you very much, Phil. Uh, would we'll entertain a motion for acceptance of this resolution? I have a motion that we accept resolution 20197, please. We have a motion. Do we have a second? I will second that. We have a second. All those in favor, aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. All right. D. Resolution 2019-8, a resolution of the City of Mount Pleasant, Tennessee, to establish a facility and property naming policy. Mayor and Commissioners, I think we talked about it at the study session. We just kind of did a little research on what other cities use and pulled from what we thought was best to create um, a recommended process. It can certainly be changed in the future, but this is what we've come up with unless anybody wants to make any changes, just so we have a process we follow if somebody wants to name a facility after somebody in the community. Any questions? Comments? All right, there being none, I would entertain a motion of resolution 2019-8. We have a motion to accept. We have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. We have a second. Uh, all those in favor, aye. 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 Opposed? <coughs> motion carries. Uh, just got Ask Chief Hay if he would check, and there are no comments from the citizens. Uh, are there any comments from anybody else that's in attendance tonight? Right quick before we let everybody get out of here and get home safely. Ladies, before we do, I would yep. like to say one thing. Absolutely. I appreciate Cora for the job that she's doing. So I have no more experience than what she had. Thank you. Thank you.